ready start we have heard sri ak mishra for the petitioners in writ petition number 26791 of 2006 and writ petition number 21089 of 2006 and sri rajiv joshi for the petitioners in writ petition number 9492 of 2006 stop sri anand prakash shrivastava has appeared on behalf of the respondent board in writ petition number 26791 of 2006 and writ petition number 21089 of 2006 comma while sri nc tripathi has appeared on behalf of the respondent board in writ petition number 9492 of 2006 dr y k srivastava learned standing council has made submissions on behalf of the state of up sri ak mishra submitted that the acquisition should be set aside as failure to serve the notice under section 29 of the parishad act deprived the petitioners from filing objections to the acquisition of their plots stop he also submitted that the acquisition had lapsed under section 11a of the land acquisition act since the award was not made within a period of 2 years from the date of publication of the notification under section 32 sub clause 1 of the parishad act stop it is his submission with reference to section 55 of the parishad act that even though section 11 dash a did not exist in the land acquisition act when the parishad act was enacted in the year 1965 comma but still in order to remove hostile discrimination faced by the tenure holders whose land is acquired under the provisions of the parishad act vis a vis the tenure holders whose land is acquired under the provisions of the land acquisition act comma the provisions contained in section 11a of the land acquisition act will be applicable to the acquisitions made under the parishad act and in support of this contention he has placed reliance upon the decisions of the supreme court in girnar traders versus state of maharashtra and others with sp building corporation and others versus state of up reported in 2007 7 scc 555 and nagpur improvement trust and another versus vithal rao and others reported in air 1973 sc 689 stop para shri mishra in the alternative contended that even in the absence of any time limit prescribed in the parishad act for making the award the special land acquisition officer has to make the award within a reasonable time and that having not been done the acquisition should be quashed stop according to him the inordinate delay on the part of the respondents in making the award has caused great prejudice to the petitioners as the market value 
of the land stands pegged to the date of the notice under section 28 sub clause 1 of the parishad act which notice was issued way back in 1984 stop in support of this contention he has placed reliance upon the decision of the supreme court in ramchand versus union of india reported in 1994 1 scc 44 stop shri mishra also submitted that the board is compelling petitioners to make an agreement with it for payment of the amount of stock